DesiBlitz.com. Hi, I'm Bali. Hello, I'm Karen Fishwick. And you're watching me on DesiBlitz.com. Um, so for our audience, can you tell us a bit about your background? Yeah, so I'm Sikh um, and I'm, I come from Coventry. My dad was, my dad, he helped, I said I wanted to be an actor and he was like, okay, so how can we make that happen? So we went to the Belgrade Theatre on their youth group and they were looking for black and ethnic minority writers. It was the only way to get into the Belgrade Theatre at the time. And I was like, right, okay, I'll just, I'll go in as a writer. So I spent a couple of time, and I was, <laughs> I was rubbish. I was rubbish, but um, uh, I spent about two, two weeks kind of doing the writing course uh, and then met all the right connections and then got onto the black and ethnic minority group, the acting group and then went on to the senior youth group in about like two weeks later. Um, I'm, I'm from Glasgow and I've been an actress for about seven years now. It's my first time at the RSC, first delve into Shakespeare at all, ever, professionally actually. It's exciting, it feels sort of unbelievable. I feel um, proud that, I, that I've managed to, to get here, that the stars have collided in a way that I've <laughs> um, ended up being here. It's, uh, scary, nerve-wracking, and um, makes me feel alive, yeah. Well, we're very so pleased to see even like the diversity in terms of geography for this cast. Like, how, what does that mean to you? So much, so much, um, in so many different ways, really. I mean, the first time we read through the play, I think one of the most um, beautiful things about it was all the different voices from all over the country, you know, and not even just accent, even though it's like so colourful, bursting with, with the colour of all the different accents from all over the UK, which is important. Just each person coming from a completely different background, sort of, we're here for our people, like e each of our little clusters all over the UK, wherever that is, so we're doing it for them, which is really important that we are so like spread from all over the place. It, it, it's, it's a huge honour because people have got a version of what they think this character is or how, it, how to say this line or how to say that bit or what they think it is and I think the really exciting bit about it is to kind of go well we're doing this version of it and you haven't heard it said like this and you haven't heard it sound from this sort of person and it doesn't look like that sort of person and I think that's what's freshing and new and everyone that keeps coming to see the production just keeps going, my God, the whole, the whole production is just fresh and new and full of, just full of passion like, and, and got a real feeling really. Like the whole, the whole company and the whole cast and the way we're doing it is so out there. For people, for some people that they just go, we never even thought it could sound like that or look like that. How did you approach the challenge of playing her character? <laughs> Yeah, um, I remember Erica, our director, very early on, just saying, don't worry about the age. <laughs> I mean, my cheeks help, they always age me down, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> I, I did a lot of research into um, teenagers in Ukraine and how they deal being in a trapped and a world in a city where they can't really function like we would here in the UK. Um, so I did a lot of reading on that, which was interesting. Um, yeah, I, I think that we keep going back to the tragedy of Romeo and Juliet. Um, it's really important to find the joy in it as well. That sort of, I love this person, but I can't be with them. What do I do? But at the very core of that is, but I love them. So it's solved, really. It's just everyone else around the world around them that just won't let it happen. And um, so I love the, the heart of that, that they just know exactly what's right and what they need to do. It's just trying to find a way to, to make it happen. What kind of inspired you then when you grew up, say, particular actors? Yeah, I wasn't really inspired. I, I watched the... Oh, <laughs> Dad again. Uh, pantomime. Uh, a lot of pantomimes at the Coventry Belgrade Theatre. Uh, but in terms of theatre, I had no idea. When I was growing up, I didn't have, no one brought me into the theatre and I never went, oh, I could do that, or that sounds like me, or that voice is me, or the stories they're telling are, are, are like mine. Or, uh, but I think that might be a way of getting more British Asian people into the theatre to watch it. And I think that uh, some theatres do it really well and involve the community and try and get us in. Well, actually, yeah, we were so impressed by the amazing strides that RSC has made, creating diversity on stage and then behind the scenes. Yeah. So, what are, in other, what other ways would you say that's important, and why would you say that? Uh, I, I think, I, like I said, it's just I'm not quite sure the answers of it, but I know that it's it's just being having that 
relatability to it and education education is the biggest thing for me like educating people to going Shakespeare is for you or you know you can do this or you you know if you <laughs> it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of sacrifice sometimes but you can you can make those things you can make those things happen that is something that I'm, I'm all for so what one of the things I wanted to do big time was to go and get my school involved and so as soon as we found out about the role, or as soon as we found out that young people will be a part of the production, I was like, I want my secondary school definitely to be involved in that. And then I wanted the RSC to be affiliated with my secondary school. I mean, I've been doing this for seven years and, and in this time, I feel like I've only ever known people going, wait, but what about us? And what about us? And what about us? Um, yeah, I, I can't really imagine theatre be, being in theatre in a time where that's not been happening. I guess maybe things are going wrong if, if no one's making their voices heard because then we don't have anything to write about or anything to act or stories to tell. Um, yeah, I think, it, I think it's great that we just all shout <laughs> and hopefully be heard as well and listen to each other. Um, there's always a corner to fight for, I think. Otherwise, there's not much to do. For younger British actors looking at your work, what advice would you give for them? Uh, I think to just work a hell of a lot harder than anyone else and um, to, to, to get the opportunities and break the doors down like there's you know the barriers are up and so we have to kind of smash through them a lot more than than other people so I think it's just a lot of hard work a lot of dedication and there is a support network out there you know there's a lot of it's a small pool of people and a lot of people say that especially in the in, in the Asian community in terms of auditioning for roles and auditioning for things so we all it's really weird we all kind of know each other if we ain't met each other so it's a really small pool so um, and it was even smaller back in the day so um, yeah, I think there's a there's a good support network, and it and it's happening though. It's happening. There's, the amount of gills that are doing things, you know, like <laughs> especially in media, and especially in industry. So, I think um, I think I think we're there. I think we're getting there. Yeah.